In today's project, I'm going to show you how to build a smart touch switch using a PC817 optocoupler. First, I'll begin by carefully straightening all four pins of the optocoupler. This step makes it much easier to connect our components neatly and ensures the circuit will be stable. Once the pins are aligned, I'll apply a little solder on the first and second pins and connect a touch button there. This button will act as one part of the control system, allowing us to interact with the optocoupler. Next, I'll move on to the third and fourth pins of the optocoupler. Just like before, I'll apply some solder and attach another touch button. With this setup, we now have two separate touch points, one designed to switch the LED on and the other designed to switch it off. This creates a simple yet smart switching system controlled entirely by touch. Now comes the indicator. This is a 3-volt LED. I'll carefully bend its pins and solder the negative pin directly to the first pin of the optocoupler. After that, I'll add a bit of solder to the LED's positive pin and connect a 150-ohm resistor to it. This resistor will limit the current and protect the LED from burning out. I'll then connect the free end of the resistor to one of the pins of the touch button that is already soldered to the third pin of the optocoupler. Next, it's time for the power supply. I'm using a 3.7 volt battery. I'll solder the positive wire of the battery to the touch button connected to the fourth pin of the optocoupler. Then I'll connect the negative wire of the battery to the touch button linked with the second pin of the optocoupler. And now our smart touch switch circuit is ready. When I press the touch button connected to the positive side, the LED glows instantly. And when I press the button connected to the negative side, the LED turns off smoothly. What's really interesting here is how the optocoupler works. The tiny LED inside it turns on, and that light activates the internal phototransistor, allowing the circuit to switch. In this project, it acts like a smart touch switch for the LED. This same principle is often used in home automation, smart gadgets, and even industrial electronics because it provides safe and reliable switching while keeping control and load sides isolated. So this little project isn't just fun, it's a glimpse into how modern smart touch switches actually function. Stick around because in my upcoming projects, I'll show you even more creative ways to use optocouplers in real-life applications.